My name is Christian McTarnigan. I'm an attorney here at Chisholm, Chisholm and Kilpatrick. And today we're going to discuss VA disability benefits for erectile dysfunction. This occurs when a man is unable to get or to maintain an erection firm enough for sexual intercourse. And veterans are eligible if you can prove that your erectile dysfunction is related to your service or related to another service-connected disability, which we're going to get into a little bit later, you should be able to get service connection for that. To qualify for direct service connection, you need to show that you developed your ED due to a specific event, injury, or illness that occurred as a result of your military service. So these types of in-service injuries could include a physical injury, like blunt force trauma to um, your genital region, psychological trauma, you know, you developed post-traumatic stress disorder due to your service, and the effect of that post-traumatic stress disorder, or one effect, is that you lose um, the ability to function sexually. You have to show a nexus that's going to connect uh, your ED to your service. Medical nexus would probably be the most sure thing. You could, there's also you know, lay statements that you could submit to show this nexus, nexus or connection. VA typically rates ED under 38 CFR section 4.155B. As you all probably know at this point, um, all of these VA rating criteria are going to be in regulations. So some of the examples of ED specifically rated listings include Diagnostic Code 7520. So that's actually going to be when there's some removal um, of, of your penis. Uh, there's Diagnostic Code 7521. If there are some glands that actually have been removed or needed to be removed, there's Code uh, 7522, um, where someone is unable to obtain an erection because of physical deformity. That's going to get you a 20%. Um, the glands removal would get you 20% too. Removal of half of your penis will get you a 30% rating. And then there's diagnostic code 50, uh, 7523. So that's if your erectile dysfunction is due to some sort of atrophy of your testicles, which is often a condition that's, that is resulting from reduced testosterone and thus a lower sex drive. You get a 20% if both testicles are affected or a non-compensable rating if there's only one. And then finally, there's diagnostic code 7524, where both testicles are required to be removed due to a service connection event. You get a 30% rating if one is removed. If there's no removal, then that would be a 0% rating. You're also eligible for benefits for your ED if it stems from an already service-connected disability. And two common ones are diabetes and prostate cancer. And then there's also a special monthly compensation level. Uh, these are all letters, uh, so special monthly compensation level K, eligible uh, for K, SMCK, they call it, due to loss of a creative organ, even if you're 0% for erectile dysfunction. So this is different than getting a compensable rating for it. And SMCK pays benefits in addition to your standard VA monthly compensation. So let's say you're rated at a 30% rating, you get your 30% rating check each month. SMCK, if you get it, pays an additional $110.31 per month. But as always, you can find more information on this topic on our website at cck-law.com or through our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us and make sure to keep up with us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter.